हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू माई चैनल सन्स आशा टूडे वी विल सी अ वेरी ब्यूटिफुल डोइली कोस्टर और टेबल क्लॉथ एंड यू कैन इंक्रीज द सर्कल ऑफ द टेबल क्लॉथ एज मच एज यू वॉन्ट आई हैव ऑलरेडी प्लेस द ट्यूटोरियल फॉर हाउ टू मेक अ फ्लैट सर्कल एंड हाउ टू इंक्रीज इट सो यू कैन रेफर दैट ऑल्सो इफ यू हैव एनी डिफिकल्टी इन इट एंड प्लस Please don't skip the video because, like every step, there is a bit variation in the design. So if you skip it, you will just miss that uh, design part. So uh, just watch the video till end. And um, I know I am asking uh, right in the uh, quite early in the video. But if you like the video, please like, comment, share, and please please subscribe to my channel, Sans Asha. so without wasting the time we will just start with a uh, video with the tutorial so let's start starting with the slip knot followed by three chain crochet one two three now we will join our first and last stitch with the slip stitch so we will get a small circle it will be a very tiny bit circle uh, only place will uh, be there to a needle to pass through now we will take two chain crochet stitches just remember now onwards whatever round how many rounds you are taking every round will start with two chain crochet stitches and now we will be taking double crochet stitches around the um, small circle we have got numbers can vary any number will do only we have to reach near those two chain crochet stitches we have taken earlier so uh, we have to go on making double crochet stitches till we reach two chain crochet stitches there shouldn't be any gap sorry if you people hear any background noise as my kid is playing so sorry okay now as we are done with a double crochet stitches and there is no gap in between the first two chain crochet stitches and the last double crochet stitch we will be joining both of them with a slip stitch and this makes our foundation circle ready now for the next round uh, as usual we will be starting with two chain crochet stitches and in every loop we will be taking two double crochet stitches and by completion of the round we will join it by the the first two chain crochet stitches and the last double crochet stitch with the slip stitch now i am making uh, this just for tutorial purpose so i haven't taken a bigger base or bigger circle but as you people know i have already placed a tutorial video for how to make a flat circle with crochet and how to increase it as much as you want so uh, for increasing the circle you can just refer that video it's very uh, easy to understand video it's good for referring and you can make as bigger as you want i will just summarize what we have done till now 
so like we started with three chain crochet stitches join first and the last one we got a small circle then we have taken two double crochet stitches after that double crochet any number of double crochet stitches around that circle so uh, till we reach the first two chain crochet stitches then we join first and the last with the slip stitch after that again two chain crochet stitches for next round and in each loop we have taken two double crochet stitches and by the end of the circle we have joined first uh, two chain crochet stitches and the last double crochet stitch with the slip stitch now we will be moving forward for a third uh, round now for the round 3 uh, again starting with the two chain crochet stitches earlier we uh, we have taken two double crochet stitches in each loop now we will be taking like one loop one double crochet stitch next loop two double crochet stitches uh, at once then again one double crochet stitch next loop two double crochet stitches at once so it's gonna be one two one two one two for the whole round and as usual first and the last stitch we will be joining with the slip stitch From here onwards, we will be making a base for the other design. So, it's like if you want to change the color, you can change the color. Because now the chain we will be making, it won't be visible. So, if you want to change the color, you can or else you can continue with the same yarn. I have just for tutorial basis, I have changed the color to explain. Now, we will start with nine chain crochet stitches after those nine chain crochet stitches we will join our last and our third chain crochet stitch with a double crochet stitch so we get a kind of semicircle shape After that we will be taking again a double crochet stitch and that we will be taking from the loop from where we started our chain crochet from the same loop. So like we are getting a V shape below and upper side we are getting a semicircle shape. Then now we will be taking three chain crochet stitches and after three chain crochet stitches we will again take a double crochet stitch this double crochet stitch we will uh, we will be taking from the fourth loop the first loop we started our first design after that we will skip three loops and in the fourth loop we will join that double crochet stitch
once we are done with this again we will take now six chain crochet stitches join the sixth and the first one we get a semicircle then the double crochet we will join from the uh, to the loop from where we started our second design three double uh, after that three chain crochet and a double crochet in the fourth loop skipping the three loops after design so like the, uh, we will be following this pattern for complete round just a reminder please if you have not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe like comment share okay i won't take more of your time so let's get back to the video so this is how a uh, base of the next design which will be coming on it will look like so that that's the base this complete design won't be visible after we have done all the work now you people can see this middle chain downside v upper side semicircle so this middle chain is there and beside it also a, a chain which is going all round the circle so first we will be taking double crochet around this chain see a single chain is there which is going all round the circle so we will be taking double crochet around this chain and i'll show you how to take those double crochets now for the lower chain of that semi circle we will be leaving the upper chain make sure you don't involve that upper chain in the stitches we are taking uh, for the lower chain just hold your or keep it separate so on the lower chain we will be taking four double crochet stitches around it four double crochet stitches please make sure you hold that upper chain it shouldn't because we uh, after completing this we will be starting other design so we will need that upper chain for that so the lower chain of the semi circle we will be taking four double crochet stitches around it now we will go to the chain uh, which was of three chain crochet stitches that chain on that chain first we will take two double crochet stitches and for the third double crochet stitch once we are done with the third double crochet stitch we will take four chain crochet stitches then once done with the four chain crochet stitches we will join first and the last stitch chain crochet stitch with the slip stitch so like because of this chain crochet stitches we are getting a point it's look good in the design we are getting a point after that two double crochet stitches on the same chain so it was like for the chain uh, beside that uh, v shape design uh, first we took two double crochet stitches then we have taken a double crochet stitch third double crochet stitch above it four chain crochet stitches join first and the last we got a point and after that two double crochet stitches then again for the next v shape the lower chain of the semi circle we will be taking four double crochet stitches and it goes on 
this two pattern we will be following for the whole circle so just to repeat the lower chain of the semicircle there we are taking four double crochet around it and the chain beside it which was made of three uh, chain crochet stitches around that chain first we will take three double crochet on third double crochet we will take four chain crochet join first and the last one we get a point and then two double crochet so this is how our design looks once we have completed now for the next part we will be starting from the center loop of the v shape so if you want to change the uh, color you can change the color Change the, changing the different colors will look good now the right chain of the v shape there we will be taking nine double crochet around it nine double crochet the right chain of the v shape so it's like one two Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now, once we are done with the nine double crochet stitches. uh from the right chain of v now if you remember we were saving a upper chain of the semicircle which uh, we were holding it away from a stitches from of the middle chain so that upper chain of the semicircle now there we will be taking first five double crochet stitches Six triple crochet stitch. Then after that we will take five chain crochet stitches. Now those five chain crochet stitches, you know, we use it for making a point in the design. We will join first and the last stitch, a uh, chain crochet stitch. Then after that we will take five double crochets. Done with the upper chain design. Now we will come to left chain of the v shape we started with the right chain of the v shape went to the upper chain of the semicircle now we will come to left chain of v shape and there we will take nine double crochet around it after completing those nine double crochet stitches we will join the last stitch of left chain to the first stitch of right chain of that v shape with a slip stitch and this completes our first de design and we are going to follow the same design for whole round
here we have completed our complete design and this is how our doily coaster tablecloth whatever you are making it will look like this but obvious uh, for tutorial purpose i have taken a small base middle circle you can increase it as big as you want now you remember those design uh, purple color designs we made so i have just folded it I have overlapped other part on one. So it somewhat looks like a flower. Please let me know um, whether you enjoyed this video, yeah. whether it has helped you to make a new design, any suggestions, drop it in the comment box. Thank you and please subscribe. Please don't forget. You people can decorate this with beads or like whatever you want to. You can put more decorations in it. It The more and more you will decorate and more and more it will look beautiful. More decorative. Thanks for watching my video. Please like, comment, share and please subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Please subscribe to Sansasha. Thank you.